Looking for a change for yourself or your family and thinking about moving to Stockbridge, Georgia? Do not move to Stockbridge without knowing these three things. Hey guys, it's Nakia Warner from Pink Sands Group. You cannot pack your place up and move to Stockbridge without knowing these three things, guys. So, first of all, most people that are moving with children are very particular about the school systems that their child will be placed in. You know, as a mother myself, I totally get it. Yes, we do our parts as parents, but let's face it, our kids spend the majority of their day with their teachers, like six to seven, eight hours a day. So when you're out searching for a home in Stockbridge, you wanna make sure you have a good realtor like me to check what county you will actually be in. If you Google what county is Stockbridge, Georgia in, it will show you loud and bold, Henry County. But actually, Stockbridge is also a part of Rockdale County. Hmm. Number two, according to one of my favorite sites, Niche, Stockbridge is the number two place to live in Henry County. So what are the people saying? Well, some of the reviews that I have read have said it's safe, it's clean, there are many extracurricular activities offered at the various Stockbridge schools, the community is also very diverse and helpful, and you know what it truly is. It ranks number 47 out of 455 cities for the most diverse place to live in Georgia. Many neighborhoods in Stockbridge offer playgrounds, gyms, tennis courts, swimming pools, and not just apartments. I mean, who does not love a good HOA? Number three. Now, the real question is, what can you get for your money? Really, what can you get for your money in Stockbridge? Well, let's see. The average sales price in 2021 was $270,000. But let's dig a little deeper. Are you looking for a three bedroom, four bedroom, or five bedroom? Well, three bedroom homes sold for an average price of $230,000 in 2021. Four bedroom homes sold for an average price of about $287,000. But let's say you have a large family and really need a five bedroom. The average price for a five bedroom home is $379,000. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and share with a friend. What's the number one place to live in Henry County according to Niche? Because we got number two. Well, actually, it's Heron Bay. I will take you on a neighborhood tour of Heron Bay real soon. So don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Pink Sands Group. Happy shopping! So, what are some of the pros and cons of living in Stockbridge, Georgia? Oh my goodness, where is Stockbridge, Georgia? It's just a little bit south of Atlanta, and that's one of the pros of being in Stockbridge. You are not that far from the city. It's truly like a 25 minute drive down to Atlanta. And guess what, maybe a 20, maybe 25 minute with a little bit of traffic to the airport. So we love the close, close proximity to the airport and to the city of Atlanta. Another pro of Stockbridge is that you're in Henry County, so you've got the Henry County School Choice. What is that? You don't like the district that your child is assigned to? You can apply to go to another school as long as you can drive there. So that's exciting. And lastly, they're building the new amphitheater. Oh my goodness, so if you want to hang out and have some events and whatnot, we're going to have that soon in Stockbridge. It is right around the corner. What are some of the cons of living in Stockbridge? Hmm. Well, traffic is a good thing, but it can be a kind of funny thing. We've got that new express lane on 75, but if you're going to Stockbridge, can't get in that express lane because you cannot get off the express lane. Bummer, but that's all right. You can take the back road. So is it really a con? I don't know. Another con of Stockbridge is that it doesn't have the best, best, best schools in Henry County. So you've got some of the better schools down in McDonough. However, wait a minute school choice so is that a con either stockbridge is just a great place so i love stockbridge hope you guys do too what are your pros and cons of living in stockbridge comment below let me know happy shopping you thinking about moving to stockbridge georgia well know these six things to help you get started hey guys it's nakia from pink sands group so you're thinking about moving to stockbridge georgia exciting well stockbridge is just a suburb of atlanta in henry county and you couldn't have picked a better place so, here are six things to help you get started. What's number one? Number one, Stockbridge is rated the number two place to live in Henry County. It's actually a small, close-knit town, but not too small. Stockbridge has about 30,000 residents. Everything's like super convenient, like going to the stores, parks, restaurants, but make sure to take the back road. Sundays, it can get real crazy going from the Lowe's and Stockbridge near 675 just to go one exit up to the Walgreens or Hudson Bridge. It's bananas. Number two, Stockbridge loves a little community event. Let me tell you, I will have to be honest, it's better than a lot of those HOA community events 
And you know those are usually popping, right? So, if you're buying a home in an HOA that doesn't do a whole lot, don't worry, the city of Stockbridge has you covered. If you like jazz, outdoor entertainment, food trucks, oh my goodness, the food trucks. So, you know, my absolute favorite is food truck Tasty Tuesdays at Clark Park. You have to make this weekly event. Oh, and I can't forget, their Facebook page is not disappointing. Stay to the end for video information on the Facebook page to see where all the events are going on in Stockbridge, okay? Number three, the school system, it's pretty decent. Well, Woodland High School, their test scores are about the same as the state average, and so are Fairview Elementary. This school has actually ranked at number seven in elementary schools with the best teachers in Henry County, according to Niche. Stockbridge also has plenty of private school options and my favorite Montessori school, the Yami Montessori on North Henry Boulevard. They are so passionate about the kids and it's really like a second home for the children. Also, Henry County offers school choice. What is school choice? Well, if you aren't a fan of your child's assigned school district, you can actually apply to attend another school in the county. But you have to drive them there every single day. Number four, guess what? Wait for it. The homes are affordable in Stockbridge. So, according to the Georgia Multiple Listing Service data, the average price of homes sold thus far in 2021 in Stockbridge is about $254,000. It's putting that house of your dreams much closer to reality than buying a home say in Fayetteville, where the average price home sold this year is about $403,000. Or say Alpharetta, they're pretty much at $649,000. We might as well say $700,000. So Stockbridge is pretty affordable. Number five. Now, have you guys heard of Stone Mountain? No, it's not in Stockbridge, but we got a little something something here too. The Arabia Mountain Park. Now, this is about 1,600 acre park. It's actually in DeKalb County, but yes, it's still in Stockbridge. You see a little slice of Stockbridge is in DeKalb County too. So, before you buy that home, make sure to ask your trusted realtor like me if it's in Henry County or DeKalb County. You don't want to miss out or lose out on your school choice option by being in the wrong county, do you? Of course not. Visitors, um, when they go to Arabia Park, they could picnic with children, work off their energy on the playground. The park offers archery, geocaching, tree climbing, birding, birding. I don't know what birding is, but it sounds real exotic. They've got paved trails for open for biking, rollerblading, jogging, dog walking, while Forces Fitness trails are open for hiking and running. So it's lots of to do there at that park. Number six, well, Stockbridge is actually wrapping up the completion of a brand new amphitheater. Yes, it's directly behind City Hall off North Henry Boulevard, and it's gonna hold about 3,200 people. Talk about community development, right? It's going to be amazing. See, it's a combination of fixed seating, terrace lawn seating that can be used for open festival seating, table seating, folding chair seating. Let's just say there's no lack of seating. The amphitheater will have like two concession buildings, a wheel call, office building, and a standalone restroom building. But that even is, that isn't even the best part. Guess who's gonna be head up the grand opening coming real soon? None other than Padilla Bell and Gladys Knight on her own once again. Oh, he's leaving, leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. No, I can't sing, but this is gonna be so exciting. So go ahead and subscribe to our page now. Oh, and the link to the City of Stockbridge Events Facebook page is listed below. Have questions about moving to Stockbridge? Reach out to Pink Sands Group anytime. We're on Instagram at Pink Sands Group or just call or text 404-834-8533. Happy shopping! So, do not go to McDonald, Georgia without knowing these five things. Hey guys, it's Nikia from Pink Sands Group. So let me just school you a little bit about McDonald. First of all, number one, please, Make sure you have a peach pass if you want to get to your kids' activities on time. Thank me later. Number two, Southern Bell Farms does not have the wonderful, cute kids' activities all year long. Oh my goodness, so one summer the kids and I were like, yeah, we'll go Southern Bell Farm. We're gonna ride the little cow train, we'll do a little tractor bumper cars, we're gonna go to that big slide. We get there all excited, got a little shorts on. Nope, not happening. They said, sorry ma'am, it's too hot to have all that open in the summertime. Bummer. So make sure you know that. Number three, Southern Bell Farms and Narrow Farms, not the same place. 
They both have strawberry picking, but they're not the same thing. But definitely check both of them out. Number four. Noah's Ark is not an amusement park ride. I know it sounds like a nice, cool amusement park ride, but it's not. It's actually an animal sanctuary. Oh my goodness, we love it so much. The kids and I love Noah's Ark. Guess what else? It's free. And the animals there, what I love about it is the, is, excuse me, are, the animals have a better habitat to me. They've got more space to roam. You've got lions, tigers, bears, but they have room to roam. They look like they're in much better condition than the ones at the Atlanta Zoo. I'm just saying, go check it out for yourself. Number five, everyone does not sit on one or two acres of land. So I know you get excited, all this farm talk and land and lions and tigers and bears and cow trains and stuff. So don't go ahead and start your John Deere account just yet. You do have some homes that have, you know, nice small lots, um, homes a little close together, less yard for you to take care of. If you want a bigger home with a bigger lot, they do have those, but don't think that everybody's sitting on about two acres. So that's a little bit of information about the five things you do need to know before you go to McDonough, Georgia. Stay tuned, we've got some more interesting stuff about South Atlanta coming up next Tuesday if you are moving with kids. Happy shopping! So, you cannot move to McDonough without knowing these five things. Hey guys, it's Nakia from Pink Sands Group, your local realtor. So I know McDonough has become a very popular place to move over the last few years, but you have to know these five things before you come to McDonald's. Number one, you must not move here without purchasing a peach pass. If you wanna get anywhere on time, it's a must to navigate the horrendous traffic on I-75. When I say it can be a real hot mess, well, it could be a real hot mess. Number two, Southern Girl Farm is not only for strawberry picking, Yes, this is a place where you can pay to pick your own fruit. You can pick peaches. Ooh, their homemade peach cobbler is to die for. Make sure you grab some before you leave the country store. Now, they also have muscadines. Some people call them, what is it called? Supper nog, super egg nog. I don't know, do you know? They have blackberries and blueberries for picking. But make sure you check the weather before you go. The kids and I went to pick blueberries and they are way, way at the back of the farm. So then it started to rain. So just imagine trying to run with a four-year-old and an 18-month-old and I had on flip-flops. I mean, well, half the way back, we just threw that bucket of blueberries down and hightailed back to the car. I don't know about you, but I don't play around with open fields and thunder and lightning. Just not the jam. Number three, the Cigar Box Festival has nothing to do with cigars. It's actually about guitars. Who knew that? Cigars, guitars. Number four, make sure to download the Waze app. Go to the settings and change it to avoid highways. This is the best way to learn the back roads. Y'all thank me later. Yes, we are talking about traffic again. <laughs> Number five, everyone does not sit on one or two acres. I know we talked about Southern Bell Farms and picking fruit and all, but that's not everyone's reality. You will definitely find a number of homes in newly constructed communities where the homes are pretty close together. At the same time, you may drive past, a, drive past a little pasture on a back road or two, or maybe one or two back roads, as building is on fire in McDonough. From the new homes to the industrial plants to mixed use space, definitely a growing city for all. Now, if you want to hear more do's and don'ts of other surrounding areas, hit that subscribe button. Happy shopping! Hey guys, it's Nakia from Pink Sands Group. So we want to talk about today. So what are some of the pros and cons of living in McDonough, Georgia? Okay, so let's start with the cons. So first you're gonna hear traffic, ah! Okay, traffic can be a bit of a problem on 75 South, but you gotta admit, it's still not as bad as Atlanta traffic, but traffic can be a nightmare. Number two, the traffic problem because of what? The 18 wheelers. You got a heavy industrial area down at McDonald's. So you got those 18 wheeler tractor trailers. They're all over the place on the expressway, taking up all the lanes, keeping the traffic slow. Oh my goodness. So that's one of the cons of being out there. And they don't really have a whole lot of magnet school programs like some of the other surrounding counties. They don't. So what are some of the pros of being at McDonald's? Well, one of my favorites is spring and summertime, going to the farms, Southern Bell Farms, where you can pick strawberries and peaches and get fresh peach cobbler and fresh vegetables and stuff like that. 
the perks of kind of being a little bit of country living, but guess what? We still have restaurants all over the place. So that's my next pro of the amount of restaurants that we do have in McDonough, Georgia. They're pretty great. Actually, we've got a lot of chain restaurants and believe it or not, there are some nice small local restaurants too. There are definitely things to do for the children. That's another thing out there, things to do for the kids. Lots of parks and recreation. So people do love the outdoors and whatnot. So there's a lot to do really in McDonald's for children. So those are my couple of pros and cons for living in McDonald's. You've got questions about coming to McDonald's, give me a shout, 404-834-8533. Happy shopping!